Okay, this is step one for starting your sprouts. You're gonna need a few things. A bag of seeds. I got this from the Sprout People in San Francisco at sproutpeople.org, but you can use sprouts from anywhere, of course. This is clover. This is my favorite one because it's um, kind of the most versatile and most practical, kind of a good daily sprout uh, to work with. And then I've got a bowl and a spoon. This is kind of a large tablespoon here. I'm gonna take three heaping scoops of seed, put it in my bowl. One, two, and three. And maybe just a little bit extra, sure. And now I'm just gonna put some water in this bowl, kind of fill it up to just make sure all the seeds get covered with water. Kind of shake them a little bit, make sure that all the seeds uh, are soaking. And then I'm gonna soak this overnight. Good morning, so here we have the Sprout Master tray for sprouting. And this is bought off of sproutpeople.org. And we'll go ahead and open this and see how it works. So the tray is made up of a lid and a bottom part. Let's see, we, looks like we got a little divider here that we can use to divide uh, two different crops of sprouts if we want. Or we can take that out and just do a full crop. That's what we're going to do today. It's just a full crop of sprouts. So it looks like we've got a bottom tray, snaps on here, and then a top tray that we can use to either stack more of these or we can use it to in the beginning when the sprouts need darkness, we can keep the tray on and then take it off about day three, day four, when they need to green up. So here we have our seeds that we've soaked in a bowl of water overnight. This is the morning after we soaked them. They're all nice and waking up right here. I'm not sure if you can hear them. And here is our tray. And we're gonna go ahead and remove the bottom part and just go ahead and spread them out, run a little bit of water, to rinse them. I'm going to put it on the setting here. And go ahead and just pour and rinse. Make sure we get all of them out of there. No stragglers. And now that I've got them in the tray here, I can start to kind of use the water to um, move them around and spread them out. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't, so if it doesn't work, you can always use a spoon. Make sure it's a clean spoon. And you can just use the back of it to kind of gently move your sprouts around. And now it's about 7 o'clock, done with work for the day. Gonna take my tray here and give it a little rinse. And you want to make sure you're using cold water, test it first, make sure it's not hot. You don't want to scald these little guys. And I'm kind of just working the water around, shaking a little bit to even out the seeds. And then I'm just going to drain it off here on the corner. And you can see it's draining kind of slow. Sometimes it takes a couple minutes. But you do want to make sure there's no water standing in there. And I'm going to go ahead and put these back for the night. And then I'm going to repeat in the morning with another rinse. Good night. So here we are on day three in the morning. And we can see that our tray of sprouts is now starting to wake up. They're looking really good here. And this has been covered the whole time, so I haven't exposed this to sunlight yet, but today I'm going to. So I'm going to give it a quick rinse. Give them all a little bit of water, make them happy. And that should be enough, and then I'm just going to drain it out the corner here again. And now that they're starting to take root, they're not going to fall out. You're not going to have any jumpers. So, uh you can kind of get, get away with tilting it more and draining it a little bit faster. 
here's where I chose to uh, put, put the sprouts and you can see this is kind of got some sunlight coming in the windows and we're kind of in the morning right now so this will be a good spot for this tray to soak up plenty of sunlight and these sprouts will start to get nice and green over the next couple of days and then they'll be ready to harvest. Here are a couple of trays that have just finished up. These are about day five now and they're looking nice and green. They've got plenty of indirect sunlight that came in here in the kitchen and you can see that they've come out really nice and I can't wait to harvest these. It's a sprout farm here. Look at all these. This is a nice full tray. About three and a half tablespoons of seed in there. These are the older trays. These are uh, a brand called Back to Basics. And they're a little bit harder to find online now. Excuse the crappy tripod here and um, yeah they're a little bit harder to find online but they've kind of been replaced with the, the sprout master one that's a little more high-tech this is a little more these trays are a little more simple a little more old-school thanks for watching eat more sprouts